Hey there, what is up everybody? Welcome back to Grim Procession Deck Unlocking. Today we're getting that uh, fourth mystery card that we were looking at last time we played. I uh, don't know what it is yet, I didn't really recognize it at all, so we'll have to get in there and find out. Uh, but standing between us in that delicious and delectable goal is none other than Liliana Vess herself. I'm a little worried about this, but not entirely. I mean, there's a lot of cards that she has that we have answers to, so I'm not too worried about it. Boy, is that a lot of mana. That guy won't stay around for very long. Um, I actually kind of don't hate it, though. I just wish that this was a spell instead of a land. But, uh, you know what? She plays first. We'll just kind of hang around. I mean, I imagine Divinity of Pride is going to die pretty quickly, too, but, uh, I don't know. I'm not too worried here. I'm, I'm really sad that that was a land, though. I mean, that was definitely not my, uh, favorite thing right there. Let's go ahead and get another one of these. I've got land enough to play just about anything, though, so that's kind of nice. I mean, there's a lot of late drops in this deck that... I don't know if I'm going to get to, though, but I might because her deck's kind of a stall deck, too. So, it's got a lot of really good removal, though, so. Well, let's put this guy down here and see if he sticks. I mean, she's got a one drop that'll kill him. Uh, she'll have three lands out for the murder next turn as well, so. It's kind of lame. Let's see what she does here. Yep, that's what I figured. That guy. Ugh. Don't be one of those people that like sits there for 45 minutes if you only have one creature out. Those people make me sad. All right, so my my dude's dead here. His metal artwork didn't help him. Didn't sway Liana. Oh god, every time I draw a card, I take damage. That's not good. That's not what I want to see. Grave digs can come out and get my uh, my one guy back. But I kind of want to wait because I feel like Divinity's going to die and Divinity's going to be a much better card right now. Uh, so we'll just wait. We'll just stare at each other. Divinity's going to get murdered or something before I can get in there. But I feel like uh, Gravedigger's going to help me grab, grab Divinity back. So take back the knight, so to speak. So go ahead and put that down. It's going to get in-step killed, I imagine, by a murder here. She's got four cards in hand. Yep. There he goes. So we're just having her waste that removal. She's used two removal spells. I think she's got two more murders and another... Another one of these. Innocent Blood. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not 100% positive though. Uh, that's pretty nice removal on my end right there. Let's go ahead, drop this guy down and get my dude. Now I could lay my other dude. But I will just grab Divinity instead here, so I'm not too worried about it. And then now this guy can just trade, I don't really care. That is one nice thing about that card uh, later on, the Knoll, is that if you bring back something like a Gravedigger, it's really kind of a two-for-one at that point, so that is kind of fancy. Yeah, that thing's getting unmade immediately because uh, Pillory doesn't work either. That guy's not fantastic because I have to pay two to draw a card, so that's not great. So I can't do both. Huh. But I have to unmake that before it can start screwing my side. I guess I could... Pillory that guy too. No, I definitely want to wait for something bigger. I think I'm just going to get in there for two. Uh, probably going to get blocked here. I'm just going to both get rid of guys. Nope. Well, that's not bad. 18. I do have to watch out for the rise from the grave, though, because uh, if they rise from grave this guy, then she's going to get one of her guys back as well, which would be pretty bad when she gets late game, starts putting out those dudes that are really, really dangerous for me. Yeah, I didn't figure that she'd trade the three for the two, because we're just trading blows at this point. She's definitely on top right now, but uh, I'm drawing an awful lot of removal here. Let's get in there, see if she kills this. She probably won't, though, uh, just because they should know that I have Divinity of Pride in my hand. Uh, and that's definitely a more dangerous card at this point. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put that down there. 
There's gonna be no blocks, there's just too many cards that she can lay that, uh, ooh, pub X. That is not something I was thinking of. I mean, I know it exists, but it's just so expensive. Got me there, though. Definitely got me on that one. Damn, I'm getting low at this point. Eight life now? God, I was kind of hoping Divinity would get in there for, like, one. Alright, so I am kind of in trouble here. She's got one card in hand. Um, it's probably freaking corrupt, so I might as well just play out at this point. I mean, who really even cares? I am not going to give her one card uh, turn, though, even if it does one damage to her. So we're going to keep that in grip for just a second. Because I'm not able to target myself right now. I guess I could target him again. Take two damage. But I am going to wait. Maybe she doesn't have the corrupt. Maybe I'm super lucky. Maybe she'll just lay, like, that huge lifelinker or something. No, I have no idea what that other card could be. I'm taking an awful lot of damage, though, and it is an awful lot of damage that I cannot afford to take. So I'm kind of upset here. It's going to be a little bit of a problem. I have a lot of work to do to try and get her back down to a manageable level. Oh, God. Not going well for me. This guy's viable. I mean, I can use his ability twice, so if he gets in there, he's going to be pretty good. So he can be an 8-8. Eight eight. Well, I can actually use it three times. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about that. Oh, that's amazing, because now I uh, am not damaged by that draw card thing. Um, yeah, they're going to block the 2-2, though, which kind of sucks. Oh, shit, I could have pillowed in one, couldn't I? God, I'm an asshole. Oh, man, she deserves to draw that corrupt off the top and beat me now. Oh, I could have pillory and then uh, gotten there for a victory. But, uh, I guess I just decided I didn't want to. Damn it. She draws her card, combat step, main phase. Nope, it's just Vampire Nighthawk. So, I still win. Probably shouldn't have. That was a pretty huge mistake. Could have ended this a turn sooner. Nope. Ha <laughs> ha, that is amazing. Let's go ahead and get that guy locked down. Boom. Now let's just attack. That's going to be even. See, it wasn't really me. I, I just wanted to guarantee the even. That's, that's what I wanted. I wanted to take her to zero. Well, that was pretty easy. That wasn't that bad at all. This deck's kind of proving me wrong. Oh, wait, I do know this card. Oh, my God. Uh, it's uh, the big version of uh, Blood Artist. Uh, Blood Artist on a 2-2 stick. I don't know about that, though. He is mighty expensive, but Blood Artist is very, very annoying, so he will probably make it in. Um, he's just more of a... He costs a lot more. I don't know. I'd rather have Blood Artist, to be honest with you, instead of the 2-2 Vampire Blood Artist combo. But he will probably end up... I mean, he can sway games. I mean, he needs to be taken care of. I just wish he had a couple more tricks. Um, I'll probably get rid of my other bat for him, to be honest. Unless, does he cost more? No. Cost the same. Um, yeah, he's a fun, he's a fun card. We'll, we'll, we'll have him in there for a little bit. I mean, I would definitely rather have Blood Artist, but, uh, at this point, what are you gonna do? I mean, I just don't really have a lot of spirits, but... I mean, what can I even... Those guys, but that's pretty much it. And they already come back once anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what spirits I can bring back. This guy? Not really much else. He's a horror. That's a spirit. That's kind of nice. Alright. Uh, I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll keep running it. Keep seeing how it does. Kind of like the mana curve, that's kind of nice. Kind of heavy on the uh, five drops it looks, but I think that's kind of how this thing is supposed to be designed. 
Um, so, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to like this deck a lot more than, uh, than I did in the past, so I, I may have been wrong about it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. I will see you next time.